What's up guys, it is Sam here, and I am about to go to bed, but today is day number 15 of when I decided to get into real estate wholesaling, and today I wanted to talk about two major things. The deal, um, we had to renegotiate for the contract, and the Facebook and website. I wanted to talk about getting that up and running with ads. So, if this is your first time here, what's good? My name is Sam, and for those of you who are returning, it's good to see you. Okay, so, uh, I started to do real estate wholesaling 15 days ago. Driving for dollars, um, collecting addresses. And then figuring out how to do skip tracing. I found somebody in Pakistan who can do it uh, very inexpensively. And then what to do and how to get a contract. And by day six, I had a contract. And then I had to figure out how to sell it. So I'm in that process right now. And uh, yesterday I had an offer that I accepted. So this offer came in and I sent out, oh, I apologize, My I sent out, the, it's like two in the morning. Uh, I sent out the assignment contract back to the buyer saying, hey, this is what you're paying for the property, blah, blah, blah. And uh, I'm assigning my contract over to you to finish the execution of. So they're like, okay, cool, we'll send it back over to you. And they uh, came back in and said that, hey, the uh, according to the municipality, it says that this property is actually 741 square feet and not... 800 square feet like you mentioned and I was like oh yeah that's exactly what the buyer told the seller told me because I have it in text message from him uh, so then I reached out to the seller and he's like oh well they said it was about 800 square feet so he lied to us to start with so um, the the buyer doesn't want he wants the like a, a giant price reduction but even if they even if he falls off that's fine we we'll just find somebody else however um, this is going to be our opportunity to renegotiate down on the price with the seller. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing tomorrow morning. Uh, I'm going to have a conversation with him and just let him know. Like we've already had multiple people bring it up that um, this could be could be the case, and uh, this happened on the same day. We had two or three people bring it up, and they had mentioned that hey the the county website says it's this. So this all happened in one day. And then he says that, oh yeah, it's not actually 800. That's what we were told it was. So you just lied and you said it was 800 in a text message to me. And then you afterwards in another text message, you said that, oh, it's about 800. Like that's a fucking big difference, bro. Uh, so especially if you're doing something that has like a uh, hundred square feet, um, I mean, 60 square feet, roughly, reduction in size on something that's only 800 square feet. That's a lot in terms of percentage, but when you think about it on a per, per, uh, uh, price per square foot basis, if you have something that's around $100 per square foot and it's 60 square feet foot smaller, that's six grand, right? So um, there's there's a big, a big difference here, and we're going to, because the price is like fucking really cheap so that's a large percentage of the total price so we're going to have a conversation with the seller tomorrow um the buyer's asking for like eight thousand dollars i don't see that happening not that i would want it to happen to start with um but i'm going to chat with them and see what they decide they want to do either way it's going to be an opportunity to renegotiate the contract and um, if we do get it at a lower price, continue to go through the marketing process to get rid of it. Uh, and I've already updated the um, marketing that I had out for it, saying the accurate information on the property now. So this is going to be a super fun and interesting tomorrow. So stay tuned. Press that subscribe button so you get to see that now. Uh, if you watch yesterday's video, I got my website up. So the website's up. Uh, and then today's objective was to make sure that I got Facebook ads running against it. So I got a split test Facebook ad running up. So it's got the, the, the same exact ad. 
It's got the same exact like segmentation and everything. The only difference in the ad is one has a title essentially like right below the um, says like the user profile or something or the the Facebook page that's running the ad. Then below that it has the verbiage. Uh, so I put verbiage on one. I did not put it on the other, and I'm testing that to, to see which performs better the one with the words on it or the ones without it and then i will continue um continue running tests i'm running about two dollars per day per um ad so this is going to be it's got two separate ads and we're going to see how the performance of that is now where does this traffic go well people see it on facebook and that uh, so that means the picture is the same too people see this on facebook and then they click on it and they get brought over to our website which is optimize for conversion of these type of leads, uh, wholesaling leads. So this means that uh, they put their information in, then we can call them, or our phone number is up there, but our phone number is actually a Google Voice number. So they're gonna call the Google Voice number, and then I set up a voicemail that explains what's going on, um, that I'm actually, I need to redo that or update that to a better voicemail. I feel like I can do a better job than I did the first time. And, um, it's going to be a ton of fun and uh, super interesting to see and watch how this plays out. So make sure you press that subscribe button. I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm doing um, as I move forward on my book. I'm at 7,600 uh, plus of words. Um, so still making a tremendous amount of progress with that as well. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot more writing to do and there's a lot more work to do to really get this moving along. So I'm also starting a, an affiliate program too. So if you guys are interested, hit me up um, about that where you can make like $300 per property that sells. Um, if you're interested, let me know down below in the comment section. Peace.